Hi family, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Today's video is going to be a home decor video. I'm gonna be changing a few things in my home and I'm gonna be sharing that with you. So stick around for the ride. So it all started out when I decided to change the light fixture in my dining room. I bought the house with a lot of upgrades already done, but I just wanted to personalize some stuff. And one of those things included the chandelier in the dining room. So I decided to go to this nice, um, I guess, light room or light store. And I was just looking around for some lights that I would like for that area. And I realized that lights are actually very, very expensive. Light fixtures are expensive, especially when you buy them from a specialized store. All right, so this is just me walking around looking at prices and I'm like, I don't think I can afford anything in here. <laughs> Everything had a really high um, price tag on it. Anyway, I did find one that I really liked because the whole theme of my house is black and white, but I wanted to add some pops of gold um, in some places, and I decided to go with a beautiful, beautiful gold chandelier. And this is the mirror we're talking about today. The mirror is gold. I actually got the mirror from at home. It is huge. Um, it was about $350, if I'm not mistaken. I really like the the style of it. I like the the bigness. I just liked it all, all right? And so the chandelier that I got also matches the mirror. So I quickly called my contractor. He removed the old one, as you can see there, and installed the new one. So this is the new one. It's so nice. It's so beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted. However, the gold on the chandelier kind of... Um, made the gold on the mirror kind of weird. So you might not be able to see this on camera. Um, it doesn't really come or show as well on camera, but the golds are clashing, okay? The gold on the chandelier is light. It's really, um, it's not like in your face, but the gold on the mirror is kind of in your face. So I didn't really like that because both clashed. Um, anyway, this is the finished product. It looks good. Like I said, it looks really, really good on camera. You're not going to be able to tell on camera, but in person, you could tell. So I got this bright idea <laughs> to basically spray paint the mirror. All right, family, so today we're gonna be doing the mirror. I have this beautiful mirror in the dining room and I love it. Yeah. Love. <laughs> I love, love the mirror, but the gold on the mirror kind of clashes with the gold on the chandelier and I don't like that at all. So I'm gonna be changing the mirror today. I'm gonna be changing the look of the mirror. Let me show you where the mirror used to be. The mirror still has to be put up on the wall and I still have to put the curtain there and there. <laughs> but look at this family look at this so nice all right so today is the day that the mirror is getting put up um the mirror is very very heavy i called my contractor again and he um basically told me he couldn't do it himself or by himself and he didn't have his helper today which is also his son and he asked if i can call someone to help and so i did so we have a. Uh, Mr. Nandy here, Nadia's dad, he's going to help the contractor put the mirror up. Um, again, it's really heavy. And because it's a big, sensitive piece of, I don't know, thing, you just, you need to take care. You have to be very, very careful. And I knew I wasn't going to be able to do it. So I got the proper help. So this is just them putting it up. And this is Mr. Nandy showing off, talking about how strong he is and whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so the mirror is finally up again. The gold is beautiful, but it clashes with my chandelier. And I didn't like that at all. So I got some help again. We got the mirror down. And now we are going to go and spray paint it. All right, so this is the mirror. I have it here. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> All right, so this is the big mirror, y'all. This is, see, by itself, the gold doesn't look so bad. Um, but like I said, the gold kind of clashes with the um, gold 
on the chandelier. Come here. It was Disney week. Oh, she's out of here. <laughs> it was Disney week at school today and Nadia has a, a bunny. Um, anyway, so yeah, this is the full length of the mirror. I have it here. I'm going to go ahead and cover the whole inside so I don't spray paint it. I'm going to be using these papers. Um, that I got from, I don't know, one of my stuff that I got from the store was wrapped up in this. So these are what I'm going to be using to cover the inside of the mirror so I don't um, spray it or get spray on it. I got to be really careful with this because this mirror was really expensive. It's a pretty big mirror as you can see there and I don't want to mess it up. Those little fingerprints are from moving it around. But anyway, yeah, let's get started. I'm going to be putting this on that so i have this tape that's what i'm going to be using with these right here to tip it on pieces are showing but as you can see it's all taped so the paint is not going to touch it i'm ready to spray all right so this is the spray paint that we're going to be using for our mirror here this is by rustoleum and it's going to be a flat black finish all right so instead of this gold it's going to be black All right, so I took the mirror out to the backyard. This is where I'm going to be um, spray painting it again. This is the spray paint I'm going to use. I'm either going to regret this or I'm going to love it. So we don't know yet. <laughs> but the great thing is, if I don't like the black, all I have to do is spray paint it back gold. But the hardest part, in my opinion, is going to be um, finding the proper gold that doesn't clash with my chandelier. The chandelier I love, so it's gonna stay, but the mirror is where the problem was. So uh, let's see how this turns out. All right, family, so this is the final product. I personally really, really like it. I especially love the fact that it matches the rest of the black accent pieces in my home. I really, really like that. And if you notice, I actually changed the buffet table in the dining room. I had the glass one there before, but now I have this darker wood that matches the dining table. And again, I love, love the final look here, but here's what I want you all to tell me. Do you like the mirror as black? Or would you have kept it gold? Also, did you like the glass buffet table better? Or do you like the wood tone better? Again, all of this stuff can be changed around, which I love, love to do. If you have followed my channel for a while, you know that I'm always, always switching things out. So there's a good chance that I might be switching some things out here. So please let me know in the comments what your favorite part of today's video is and if you like the mirror gold or black. All right, family, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. 
Also, don't forget to comment your favorite part down below. All right. Thank you all again so, so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.